Hello everyone, welcome to TechSkill. So this time we'll be installing Fluid OS in our Poco F1. So right now I am on this Lineage OS that I installed yesterday and it's a fine ROM. It's very minimalistic. So if you're looking for security and stuff, install this. I'll leave the link of the video in the description. And if you're interested in watching uh, more stuff about Poco F1, about OnePlus phones and stuff, you can just subscribe to my channel and I give honest reviews about apps and other stuff. So do subscribe to the channel. I hope you like it. This will only help me to grow this channel for you and contribute to the community right so i have already downloaded the rom in my laptop and i'll simply copy it in my device for so, copying this file i want to tell you that i will simply clean flash my rom i'll uh, format whole of the data and then i will install rom so if you're also uh, migrating from some other custom OS, so i recommend you to clean flash otherwise it might end up in boot loop and stuff and i always recommend you people whenever you are installing a custom rom do back up your data you don't know what can happen between the installation process and there is a good chance that you might even lose your data so always keep your data backed up right so first of all i'll just go to the twrp section to format my device so for that power up button and uh, the uh, volume up button and power button simultaneously and our phone will vibrate twice and it will lead to the twrp section very soon right so uh, one thing also remove all the uh security for uh, security locks from your phone uh, otherwise you know you may uh, end up encrypting your device so i'll allow modifications i'll go to wipe i'll go to format data i'll type yes y e s and i'll simply do this right so uh, in a while this will be formatted it's it's formatted now as you can see now i'll reboot and this is how you do it so again volume up button and power button because there is no custom os or there is no os installed in our phone so we have to go to the twrp section again so yeah again here we are in the twrp section so i'll simply connect my phone here and i will copy the file in my device so now i have put the rom in my internal storage and i'll simply go to install and i'll flash the beryllium build i accidentally copied two builds here so i'll just click on this and confirm to flash so it might take some time because in around about or uh, every custom room takes about five minutes so from here i'll just fast forward the video and see you on the other end when the room is installed if the room is installed you will see a success option here uh, a success text here so you will know that the euro has been successfully installed and again i want to remind you that whenever you install custom room make sure that you back up your data that's the first thing you should do right so i'll fast forward the, forward the video and i'll see you on the other end so as you can see it says update updating of partition successful or done and let's simply reboot the system so now it might take around five minutes to take the first boot because it's the first time the room is booting so might take some time so i'll again fast forward the video and i'll set up my device for the time being and i'll see you on the other end see the beautiful looking custom animation that they are having here just have a look so probably this will boot up very fast since so still i'll just fast forward the video so the phone successfully booted up and now i'll quickly set it up successfully booted up the fluid os and as you can see there is already a dark wallpaper applied here so for the timing i'll just try to change it to a little bit of lighter wallpaper maybe let's see if there is any no there is no wallpaper so looks like we have to settle with this only so that's it as you can see there is no gcam or stuff available in this room so you have to manually uh, install the gcam so if i go to the system settings and in the about phone section you can see we are rocking android 11 fluid os 1.5 and here you can see all the device details and stuff and you can see the security patches of 5th of april 2021 and even the system update is 11 right 
so this is it and if i quickly if i show you this is quite fluid trust me like feels good and snappy even and if i go to the settings and if i go to the customizations let's see what we have so we have a lot of stuff going on in here so maybe i can make a quick video for you but still for the initial impressions i believe this room is great i have never used this room before so i'll uh, check this room for a day and i'll come up with the features in maybe in a small short video so stay tuned for that so as i said i keep making videos on tech and crypto and a lot of other stuff so if you're interested you can subscribe to the channel and enjoy the journey with me so i'll see you in the next video bye bye